Hello boys and girls, welcome or welcome back. If you've been to my channel before, welcome back. If you're new, consider subscribing, like the video, let's get to work. Today we're going to compare TGVs, injectors and uh, fuel rails between an 06 and an 07 STI. 06 STIs have side feed injectors, 07 and up have top feed injectors. Although there's a lot of different options for the top feed injectors, you know, aftermarket um, injector dynamics make very nice top feed injectors for, the, for all the Subarus, but not many companies make side feed injectors. And most tuners do not like to tune Subarus with side feed, with aftermarket side feed injectors. That is why I decided, I decided to convert from side feed to top feed, hopefully gain a little bit of more power and be ready in the future if I ever do go to a bigger turbo and bigger intercooler, the car is going to be ready. As of now, my setup, uh, the side, you know, factory side feed injectors, they are working at their peak power. So it's time to convert. Figured I got everything apart, might as well do the conversion. And instead of buying aftermarket parts, you know, aftermarket fuel rails, aftermarket TGVs, TGVs, TGV stands for tumble generator valve. I decided to go by used 07s, TGVs and fuel rails. It's a direct bolt-on. There is a few changes I gotta do here and there, but the ID 1050s, what I'm gonna get, the 1050 injectors by Injector Dynamics will fit no issues. I just have to look, instead of for an 06 STI, I gotta look for them for an 07 STI. So this is what we got. This one here is from an 07. This one, more complete one, is from an 06, from my 06 STI. So I got one injector out. Let's look at the side feed ones to understand what this is all about. So this is the injector. As you can see, these are the factory injectors. Now you can see, obviously, it, I took it out of here. You can see there's a hole. And there it is. And then let's move on to the 07. See, that hole is here. So that's the feed line. So this is your pressure line here. And that feeds the injector. As you can see, it's on the side. Here, this is the pressure line. That's the feed line here, and it feeds it from the top. So injector on the 07, it mounts in between. Injector goes down there. Also, the hole is smaller on the 07. And uh, this, the fuel rail fits over the injector. Over here on the 06, you can install the fuel rail and these just pop out one screw. There's this little kind of a small bracket that holds it in place with a small Torx bit screw. And that, that's it, easy to replace. On the 07s, you got to remove the fuel rail for the, to remove the fuel injectors. All right, what else is different? There's a, looks like the pressure valve is in a different spot on the 07. It's right here on the 06. There is only one hookup per side for the TGVs. As you can see, there's nothing on this side. And there's two plugs on both sides. On both sides here on the 06. On both passenger side and driver's side. See on the 07 it's just here. These seem to be in the same spot. Not sure this is this could be some kind of a vacuum line 
or your uh, evap line not entirely sure I'm gonna figure this stuff as I go alright what else is different is looking at the top you can see the 06 the flaps are larger and these are smaller and the 07 the flaps are smaller and these are larger let's flip them over all right flipped over 06s you can see look at this hole where the injector sits it's much bigger than on the 07 you see what i mean it is it is uh there's a difference you can tell how much bigger these are and how tiny just looking at the straight from the top the gap here is much smaller and the 07 is much bigger so out with this in with this but we're gonna do a lot of changes we're gonna get rid of these dividers here we're gonna get rid of the motor well we got both sides so it's twice the work we're gonna get rid of the butterflies here this shaft remove this and bore out and bore this out clean cut it out and clean it up so it's a nice smooth passage and I am gonna try and weld the holes up so there's gonna be four eight holes total weld it up with low temperature aluminum rods these guys here we're gonna do it properly and I still have to remove these two 10 mil bolts this one was sticking out a bit I tried PB blaster and vice grips but it just broke again so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weld a nut to it and try it that way worst case I'm gonna have to drill it out I am probably am uh, to a bigger hole and install some helicoils in it I'm not gonna show this I did helicoils in a different video when I was doing uh, calipers I think one of these one of these in the back the main bolts that hold the caliper has a heli coil and it's been fine and one in the back as well a lot of times when these steel bolts sit inside an aluminum body and you go to take one out and it doesn't want to go and it do doesn't matter if you're gonna spray half a gallon of PB heat it up go in and out slowly it, the threads gonna strip you know you're just gonna be lucky if you take the whole bolt out so you don't have to drill it out when I did the caliper the the front one I believe did come out the rear one broke I ended up drilling it out but both helicoils seem to be holding up all right so I just finished drilling remember the broken bolt I had to drill it out welding a nut did not work it's just a too little of a too little of a nut the welds kept breaking so it was a pain because it's so little but I got a surprise not a pleasant one you can see I uh, this is the 07 by the way TGV I just uh, wanted to check if I'm aligned because I'm about to thread the new hole so I can install a heli coil and you can see I, I got three bolts in there okay they are in I got another one here and these two do not line up they are about halfway no bueno so now I got the two side by side and now that now that I you know paying attention to such a small detail you can see these holes line up with the shaft and these don't they are offset <sighs> why do they do this why 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 all right I only have one choice I was gonna I was thinking about drilling a single hole and threading it you know, like a 12 mil right in the middle 
between the two plenty of meat here but I looked at the intake manifold and there's just like empty space underneath here in the middle so that's not gonna work so what I gotta do is I'm gonna fill these in with aluminum and rethread where where it needs to be. make a new hole and rethread where it needs to be all right I actually never done this before but it can't be that difficult just gotta get, get it hot Uh, just taking too long. Gotta bust out the big boy. So I got a, a little bump going, got to file it down. <laughs> Trying to be as flat as possible. This looks promising. Oh, this is the crucial part. I'm gonna be off that new 10 bolt 10 mil bolt will not go in okay so we got a little starting point right here So it looks like it did go through, although I measured it, doesn't matter. Let's see if we're lined up. Looks like we are. Difficult to see. Let's put some threads in it. So me heat up the body of the TGV, not the, the hole inside, because you want this thing to melt. If I were to hold the flame directly to the rod, then this would heat up and this has a lower melting temperature than this, uh, this aluminum body. And this would simply not stick. That's why I took the time and heat it up here from the side so I mean this this whole thing was super hot even on the edges here or, or here but uh, needed to reach that temperature so this basically melted to the touch so it would stick properly and it worked it's good stuff these aluminum rods